Hi, it's Kim and welcome to the channel today. Today I want to talk about some roots. They search, they anchor, they reach, and I have quite a few plants around. That first one is my philodendron. Second one here is the fiddle leaf fig. They're kind of fibrous and they anchor that plant into the soil and kind of keep it steady. Now I have some other plants, for instance this uh, uh, pothos. It has tiny little root nubs that will reach and climb and anchor into the side of a tree or one of those fiber things that you, fiber poles that you put in your pot. And the Hoya does similarly because it can climb into the trees in its natural habitat with those little grappling um, roots. But the roots that I'm concerned about today are some aerial roots that I have. And these are on some succulents downstairs. These aerial roots are just roots that form and I think they're just searching for soil. They kind of form on places where um, roots do not ordinarily form. They're all along the stems of some of these bare plants. And that could be because of low light or maybe the wrong humidity. So they're just searching out a place to, um, you know, anchor themselves into the soil so that they can live. Now, as I understand it, they don't do any harm to the plant. They're just searchers. You can see how this plant has really got a full network of them searching for a spot to grow. You can propagate your plants with these. Just, um, you know, cut those bare stems. Um, a few of the roots can be buried and they'll develop into the regular type of uh, root which will nurture the plant, bring water and all the nutrients and everything. But I had so many of these I wanted you to see how they looked and I am afraid that mine came from neglecting the plants because these were kind of behind things and didn't get watered regularly and as you can probably see, didn't get um, the, maybe the most light because they were shaded by the others. But each root has its own purpose to uh, anchor into the soil. I have a little um, aquarium of baby tears and you can see almost the same type of root dangling from it. Now that's searching because it has no more land, no more soil to reach into. It's trying to climb out of the aquarium. But they're kind of pretty looking. They look a little bit like a veil hanging over the plant, but I could pull them off and just get rid of them. But probably what I'll do is propagate some new plants. These are on ghost plants, I think, right here. Now you can also see tiny roots like on the mother of thousands, but they're just develop developing because they're ready to drop and fall into the soil. But thanks for watching today. Just a short video about these roots. And be sure and watch some of more videos and like and subscribe. And I love it when you comment. Thanks.